Celebrating Super Bowl 52, coming to the Twin Cities, 1500 ESPN, in partnership with the Minnesota Super Bowl host committee present 52 super stories leading up to the big game from our own Patrick Royce. We're winding down here with the Super Bowl stories. Uh, Only got 10 or 11 left. And today we start the great eight of Super Bowls. Whether because of the stakes involved, the historical uh, significance, or the drama of the activity, these are my great eight Super Bowl stories. Number eight, the NFC had won 13 straight Super Bowls and the Packers were 11 and a half point favorites over Denver when they played the 32nd Super Bowl in San Diego on January 25th, 1998. The Pack went 13 and three that season and Favre threw 35 touchdown passes. The Broncos were uh, 12 and two, but the Chiefs went 13 and three to win the division. And that made Denver a wild card team. They beat Jacksonville, then they won at number one seeded Kansas City to 14 to 10. I was at that game. There were a lot of unhappy folks in red when they lost that one. Then they beat the Steelers to go to the Super Bowl. Everyone was looking at the Packers as an almighty team back then, but in retrospect, 11 and a half points was a bit inflated. Elway might have been 37 and had been lousy in uh, three of Denver's four previous Super Bowl losses. He didn't quarterback the first one, but he was pretty good that season. 3,600 yards, 27 touchdowns. So 17-17 in the middle of the third quarter, and Denver went 92 yards for a lead touchdown. Uh, Elway throwing a 36-yard pass to Ed McCaffrey to uh, get the Broncos in close. Then the old quarterback, Elway, converted on third down by scrambling and getting spun in the air. He was hit by two Packers, got the first down, and Davis scored another touchdown. The Packers fumbled on the ensuing kickoff. Denver recovered, but then Elway threw an interception to Eugene Robinson. The Packers went 85 yards to tie it, but then the Broncos put together a drive in the last few minutes, kind of almost reminiscent of Elway's drive in Cleveland. They were down at the one. Mike Holmgren told the Packers defense to let them score. Davis scored his third touchdown. Packers started at the 30 with a minute and a half left. Favre completed a couple long passes and then Denver's safety Steve Atwater. He knocked himself teammate Randy Hilliard and the Packers Antonio Freeman all out of the game on one play in the last minute. And the throw in Broncos 31, Packers 24. Back in the days when occupants of Viking land were very pleased to see Brett Favre lose a big ball game. 52 Super Stories continues next week with another great yarn from Patrick Royce. And for more details on Super Bowl 52 coming to the Twin Cities in 2018, sign up for the host committee email at mnsuperbowl.com.